Hello everyone. Welcome to MedSurge Mentor. Stomach is a muscular organ in the upper abdomen. Normally, the membrane lining of the stomach walls protect it from acid and germs. If this protective lining is irritated or damaged, stomach can become inflamed, which is called gastritis. So guys, today let's discuss about this very common gastric condition, gastritis. Definition of gastritis It is the inflammation, irritation or erosion of the lining of the stomach. Common etiologies of gastritis are Medications such as analgesics and aspirin Autoimmune causes Bacterial infections, most commonly helicobacter pylori infections Extreme stress older age, stressful events such as surgery and injury, eating very spicy foods, excessive use of alcohol and cocaine, and chronic bile reflux. Pathophysiology of gastritis Due to etiological factors such as Helicobacter pylori infection or medications, gastric mucosal barrier is penetrated and damaged. As a result of this, hydrochloric acid or the gastric acid comes in contact with mucosa which leads to injury to the small blood vessels. Gradually, these changes results in edema, hemorrhage and possible ulcer formation. Important clinical features of gastritis are stomach upset or pain, blotting and hiccups, abdominal bleeding, nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, feeling of fullness or burning in the stomach, vomiting blood or coffee ground like material, black tarry stool and indigestion. Next is types of gastritis. Based on course, gastritis is divided into three and they are type A, B and C. Type A occurs due to autoimmune causes whereas type B occurs by the bacteria Helicobacter pylori and it is the most common type. Type C is caused by chemical irritants like medications and alcohol. Based on duration, gastritis is classified into acute and chronic types. Acute gastritis is caused by irritants or infection and it lasts only for a short period of time. On the other hand, in chronic gastritis, mucus lining of the stomach is inflamed over a long period of time. Major diagnostic measures done to identify gastritis are stool test, blood test, breath test for Helicobacter pylori infection, endoscopy, biopsy and barium swallow. Some of the commonly seen complications of gastritis are peritonitis, stomach ulcers and polyps, pernicious anemia and stomach cancer. Important medical managements of gastritis are NPO until vomiting stops, antacids, antibiotics such as clarithromycin and amoxicillin, proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole and drabiprazole, H2 receptor blockers such as famotidine and cimetidine, fluid therapy, antiemetics such as domperidone, and coating agents like sucralfate. Now let's move on to the prevention of gastritis. And some of the important preventive measures are practice good hygiene habits like hand washing, Avoid stomach lining irritants such as alcohol and caffeine. 
reduce fatty, fried, spicy or acidic foods. Do not lay down for 2 to 3 hours after a meal. Eat smaller and healthy meals. Do not take too much over-the-counter medications. Quit smoking and manage stress. Nursing diagnosis for patients with gastritis are Acute pain related to the gastric lining inflammation Activity intolerance related to pain and discomfort Imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirement related to nausea and indigestion. Fear and anxiety regarding the disease condition. Knowledge deficit regarding the dietary modifications. And risk for deficient fluid volume related to vomiting and reduced fluid intake. Next is nursing care of patients with gastritis. And they are Monitor blood pressure, heart rate, weight and serum electrolytes. Keep the patient nil per oral until vomiting stops. Assess urine output and skin turgor. Monitor lab values such as complete blood count, partial thromboplastin time, platelet count and fibrinogen levels. Advise to limit alcohol and drugs. Ensure that the patient is taking small bland diet if tolerated. Administer antacids to reduce stomach acids. Ensure hydration and teach relaxation techniques. In this video, we have seen regarding gastritis. It is the inflammation, irritation or erosion of the lining of the stomach. And the common causes are alcohol, helicobacter pylori bacteria, medicines, and autoimmune disorders. It is mainly classified into type A, B, and C based on the etiology. However, major medical managements are antibiotics, antacids, proton pump inhibitors, and H2 receptor antagonists. Thanks for watching and hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. Thank you.